Polignano a mare. With breathtaking views, lovely beachfront, poetry on the walls of the city, lovely romantic streets and much more. I'm Adrian from Travel and Tell No One and in the past years I've been passionate with filming my travels and transform my passion into a mission to help you and to travel virtually together. In this video I will show you everything you need to know before traveling to Polignano a Mare. Best things to do in one of the most incredible cities in Italy. First attraction of the day, the sunrise in Polignano a Mare. At 7 o'clock, walk on the promenade and uh, discover the beauties of uh, Polignano a Mare and uh, see how people are running and do also yourself some exercises. So, let's run! What I love in Italy is the warm weather it is end of September and I am in a t-shirt and a short pants so uh, the weather is incredible here. Another great attraction here are these caves. You can explore them by walking on the promenade and I heard that there are also boats that are going there and also a restaurant. Our next visiting point is the historical center or the Centro Historico. First impressions of Polignano a Mare, it is very clean, it is a little town sculpted in a limestone rock. Three things to do here in Polignano a Mare. Drinking water from these kind of taps. All the historical center is formed with narrow streets, really beautiful streets that you will love it. All around the city you will spot this kind of poetry and quotes. It is awesome to see so magical creation. We are in the city center and we have the city for ourselves. It is empty right now. We can reveal you everything that is really beautiful here. And look at this view. People are already having a bath and also getting suntan. And while you're here at this great balcony, you will spot the statue of Domingo, the singer Domingo, where we will go next, right over there. We will go there and sing. The square with Domenico Modugno is in renovation right now, so the singer is out of office.
I am going to La Mamola Hill Beach. If I don't pronounce it well, please comment below here and tell me how is it uh, said. The famous balcony right there. At this moment there are no swim enthusiasts, this is the far I could go right now, so just my feet in the water, but the water is not that uh, cold, so um, yeah, for end of September I think it's pretty good. Right now, I am in one of the caves of Polignano Amare. The water was uh, chilly and we could not have a bath there. While you're here, you definitely need to taste focaccia, pizza, ice cream, espresso or cappuccino and other delicious traditional food. We are, we are. Uh, which is Cal the best focaccia? Calzone with onion, focaccia with onion, with meat, yeah, with spinach. Food. Yes. I just exited the Volia di Pane and the owners were so nice, I even got some sweets for free. They had really nice patisseries and of course the traditional focaccia. I love ice cream in Italy, I could eat all day. This is with uh, rum and pistachio and I literally love it. What is life in Italy without coffee? Polignano Amare can be seen in a couple of hours but if you want to take the most of it you can do it like we did 
for a couple of days. We are ending our stay here in Polignano Amare in this great coastal city of Italy. It was incredible, we had a lot of fun, great weather and lovely beaches. We ate delicious food, we had incredible stay. If you like this video, click the subscribe button, like the video and see you in the next one. Set what to cheat, no more. Then the bell, it's a